between the Triton Vikings and your Dover Sherburn Raiders. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's tournament game. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated. Please be respectful of all of those in attendance and enjoy this MIAA tournament game. First up, the starting lineup for the Triton Vikings. Number one, a junior, Brooke Nangle. Number two, a senior captain, Catherine Trojan. Number five, a junior, Kayla Harrington. Number seven, a senior, Michaela Erickson. Number eight, a junior, Allison Pugh. Number 12, a junior, Chloe Connors. Number 13, a senior, Taylor Shorey. Number 14, a senior captain, Ashley Silva. Number 15, a senior, Jocelyn Noyes. Number 16, a sophomore, Olivia Carviles. Number 19, a senior, Margaret Farrell. And number 23, a junior, Julia Price. The Vikings are coached by Stacy Boleo and Patrick Silva. And now for your Dover Sherburn Raiders. Number two, a sophomore, Avery O'Connell. Number four, a junior, Mia Guarni. Number seven, a sophomore, Sadie Morrow. Number eight, a junior, Ava Hatfield. Number 10, a senior, Laurel Mahoney. Number 12, a senior captain, Kai Abbott. Number 13, a junior, Magdalena Reaper. Number 15, a junior, Ello Luskow. Number 18, a junior, Riley Spaulding. Number 19, a senior, Courtney Mahoney. Number 23, a junior, Catherine Mahoney. And number 25, a senior captain, Riley McLaughlin. The Raiders are coached by Aaron Massimi and assisted by ne Megan Newmarker and Megan Lewis. And now, if you are able, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
All right, let's go. Welcome, folks, to today's quarterfinal matchup between the Triton Vikings and your Dover Sherburn Raiders. I'm Sebastian Asar, joined alongside Brad Crandall and Cam Crandall on camera, bringing you live coverage here on YouTube. Yes, welcome, folks. It's a gorgeous day out today, and the Raiders are facing off against Triton. Triton. Triton is a regional school. Yeah, Should try. Know. Three towns, probably. Yes, it is. What's it consist of? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Because I have it right here. Oh. So, Regional School District serves the Massachusetts coastal towns of Newberry, Rowley, and Salisbury, located in the northeast corner of the state. Lovely. Yes. Lovely, lovely. So, they made the trip down here. Northeast corner. Let's see. Near how it goes. Rowley. What was it? Uh, Rowley, Newberry, and Salisbury. Good beaches around there. Yeah, Route 1 all the, uh, goes all the way up there. You mean mm. Newberry Port? It said Newberry, but yes, that as well. Route 1 goes all the way up there. Did, mm. not, did not know that. Anyway, well, something new every day, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, yeah, like. Winner of this game will go play Sandwich, who narrowly defeated Tingsboro, 13 to 12. Yes, that sounded like a uh, exciting nail-biting game there. Yeah, that'll be a final four. You know, that's when it comes down to that one save, that one missed net, that yeah. one face-off. That's why these are just so important. Um, today it is 78 degrees in Dover. Partly cloudy, but it looks pretty, pretty good here. Nice and sunny. Yeah. The clouds look like they're straight out of from a movie. Yeah, they do. Twenty-five minutes on the clock in the first half. Spalding going to take the draw for the Raiders. Alongside Catherine Trojan, senior captain for the Vikings. The fans are piling the bleachers now. Yep. Good to see a fan zone here. Uh, yes. For the quarterfinals, I would hope that they would. Spalding, who was just excellent on the face-off last game, winning probably, I want to say, 90% of them. But mm -hmm. anyways, let's see how she does here today. Here we go. Yep, Raiders come out with it. Here we yeah. go. Lux go. Let's oh. go. Oh, loses it. Oh, stolen by excellent, Triton. Yeah. Excellent check there by Trojan, I believe. And then uh, Connors picked it up. Connors with the ball here on the 10-yard line, far yeah. side of the field. Working her way behind the net, passing it to number 14. 14, Silva. Silva. 14 is going to do a little horseshoe here. Yeah. Passing it back to number 12. Going right in front Whoa. of the net. Excellent save there. Yeah. I think uh, Courtney Mahoney might have been in there on part of that. Here comes Riley Spaulding down the yeah. side of the field. She's been huge here in these playoff games. Just an excellent midfielder playing great both ways. Greeny. To Luskow. No, I'm trying to multitask here. Like <laughs> get footage too. Oh, there you go. Doing yeah. a little Instagram footage. Yeah. Morrow, McLaughlin. Back to Garini. Garini, yes. Garini making a move here. Shot and fires and the it. Oh, Mia yes. Garini. Punching it in the first for the Raiders. 
And you guys can see that goal again on our Instagram. Thanks to Sebastian here. Yeah. Our Instagram is DS Cable TV, one word. And the score is one to nothing. Raiders taking an early lead here. 23-37 on the clock in the first half. Spalding taking the draw again against Trojan. Ball picked up by McLaughlin for the Raiders. Yeah, it looked like Chloe Connors might have got hit in the face there. Sadie she's, Morrow. She's pointing to the ref, but no call. Behind the net, Kelly Devine. Devine to Luskow. To McLaughlin. Greeny. Greeny. Morrow. Hatfield. Back to Greeny. Here comes Greeny. DS drawing a foul there. Mm hmm. I think that was on. What is that? 18? No, number 19. The Raiders flag is. Farrell. What hoisted you here. Oh, I'd love to see it. Here comes Greeny with a chance. Just going to bring it back out. Going down the middle, good defense there from Triton to Leskow. Leskow, far side to Morrow. Morrow to Mags Riper. Mags. To Leskow. Oh. Leskow loses it, picked up by Greeny. Greeny. Yes, with great pressure here right now. Excellent passing. Hatfield to Mags. Greeny. Mags Greeny shot. Ooh. Ooh. Just over the net. Excellent scoring opportunity there from the Raiders. And they get it. Here we go. Hatfield passing it up here to Morrow. Morrow looking to McLaughlin. McLaughlin going to give it to Leskow. DS doing a good job of controlling possession here in the first. Yeah, they are. Tilting the field a bit. McLaughlin to Luskow. To Mags. Tries a oh. shot. Excellent save there. And Triton picks it up. Yeah, that was Julia Price, the goalie, with that great save. Oh. <laughs> Mags. Just checked it out. Yeah. All right, here we go. Triton having a chance now. Mm -hmm. Number 14, Silva. Seems to be a very good player. Yep. Pass it off. Number eight, Ellison. Peel. To one angle. To five, Harrington. To 12, Connors. Connors. Well defended here from Courtney Mahoney. Yep. Good D by the Raiders here. Absolutely. Oh, it looks like there's a penalty on the Raiders. Oh, yes. I see that flag, actually. Looks like they're pointing at either Spalding or O'Connell, I believe. Let's see what Triton does here, Sebastian. She's creeping up. This is Harrington with the ball here, number five. Oh, she gets a better angle. Yep. Gotta like that if you're a Triton fan. Got, is she going for the shot or gonna sh pass it? No, she's gonna pass it. She's got Luskow right in front of her and then circle. DS defenders right in front of it. Passing it off to number two. Trojan. Trojan, well defended here by Spalding. Riley pushing her behind the net. Go, 
Oh, oh. absolutely. That's Beautiful like an, goal. That's like an ISO play. All right. Nice ISO play there from Catherine Trojan. Mm -hmm. Getting Triton's first goal here. Yeah, just completely isolated. Very impressive. She didn't have much of a shot there, but she found a tiny opening and buried it. 1-1. One, 19.56 one. left to go in this first half. Spalding Tro and Trojan taking the draw again. All right, Triton winning that one. Passing it up to Harrington. Harrington, well defended there. Oh, no but oh, there's a call. I think that ball was above the ball was above the shoulders, I believe. But mm. you know, I'm not an official. <laughs> an official. Uh, official, official. Yeah. You're an official commentator. Pew with it here. Up by the 20 yard line. Passes it to Connors. To Silva. Silva coming in. Good defense there from McLaughlin. All over her. Silva trying something here, but Laurel Mahoney. Good defense, but Silva getting it back. Triton might just be... Um, oh, good deflection there. Oh, bouncing ball. I say Triton might just be oh, the Raiders' go. biggest test so far. Lesko called for the check there. So Pew with it coming in. Great defense there from Luxco and Picked up by Kai Abbott. Yeah, Kai Captain. Abbott. Yeah, that's speed there. Great pass. Yeah, good breakout pass to, to Ava. Yep. Oh. To Mags. Yep. Mags Reaper. Pass to Spalding. Spalding. Spalding hesitates back to Reaper. Mags behind the net. Now Sadie Morrow with it. Morrow. Passing it off. McLaughlin stopped dead in her tracks by Trojan, but there's a whistle. Oh, McLaughlin having it. Oh, I thought she was going to shoot. Pass to Spalding. To Luxco, to Riper, to Hatfield, to Morrow. Morrow to McLaughlin. Good passing here from the Raiders. Yeah, absolutely. They're looking good. Good defense there from Triton, but now Mia Garini has it. Bringing it back a little bit. Going to set this play up. Has the Morrow. Morrow making a move. Great defense there from Triton. Yeah, Diaz trying to get another attack here. Find that uh, oh. that hole in the fence. Oh, oh, Mia Garini with a great No, goal. there was a whistle. Oh, they're going to wave that off. Oh, no. They can't. Uh, I actually, I do not like that rule in this girls, in, in lacrosse. Oh, well, here comes Mia Greeny with a chance shot hey, and a goal. Same she shot. buries that one. Good right. goal for Marie, Mia Greeny, making DS go, go to the lead, 2-1. to her, one. Yeah, her second goal of the game so far. 17-09 left in this first half. It's a tight game here. So, we we have um, who the winner is going to play. That's going to be Sandwich. A sandwich Sandwiches. Yes. As you said earlier, but they, they said that there is going to be a neutral site that they play at Thursday. And if DS wins, it's going to be most likely Norwell. So, keep that in mind, folks. Norwell, yeah. Drive down to the South Shore. It's yeah. a good, uh, 
It's a good 45 minute drive. Yeah. Thursday, so you know, no, there won't be any Cape traffic. <laughs> Bring your beach stuff. Yep. A couple great beaches on Norwell. Mm. You're Norwell too. You know all around there, huh? Yeah. McLaughlin. Pass it off. Lies of oh, yeah, Ava here. Ava Hatfield. <laughs> Whistle. Here we go. Could she get the hat trick right here? Let's see. Let's go, Greeny. She gonna go for that top right side. Yep. Yeah. Another goal, three goal, one. Yeah, goalie's leaving it open, so. Mia's shooting. Great goal there. That's the hat trick. You gonna throw your hat? I don't have one. Well, don't throw my hats. <laughs> you don't throw hats in lacrosse. It's only yeah, a hockey thing. Too many goals. Yeah, only a hockey thing. Only a hockey thing. No team has really broken away yet. Oh, apparently the fans just got a warning. Oh my. No heckling. Oh, a little heckling. Here we go, Luxcow with it. Brings it around the net, passes to Morrow. Morrow to Greeny. Pass it up to McLaughlin. To Spalding. To Riper. Riper back to Ava Hatfield. Ava faking a little bit, passing it up to Greeny. Greeny's had the hot hand today. Let's yeah. see. Oh, well, good oh save there. yes. Excellent save there from Julia Price. Long pass. And Riley McLaughlin with the interception there. Yeah, great vision there. Mia Greeny yeah. passing it off. Mags Riper shot and the uh, goal. As she's hit, she buries the goal. Excellent piece of scoring there. Great interception from McLaughlin. Excellent pass. Four to one. 15 24. Left to go in the first half. Yeah, Diaz pouring it on now. Yeah. No leaf is safe, though, this early in the game. Nope, not in this sport. Yeah. Huh. Not sure what the whistle is for, but they're going to say Raider Ball. Spalding picks it up. Up. Oh. Nope, too soon. Yep, so now Triton Ball. Yeah, they're discussing. Who really knows what's going on? Only the rep. <laughs> Maybe some of you viewers. Yeah. I don't, that's no. for sure. I know, right? Can sit here and pretend I do, but I don't. Not with that I call. I would be lying. <laughs> I was told from a very young age not to lie. Exactly. I'm an honest man, and so are you. They call me Honest Abe for a reason. Yeah, I was born on Honest Abe's birthday. You were? Yes, I was. February... 12th. Yeah. So, I got that, I got that going for me, which is nice. Spalding, double teamed here, is going to pass it back for a little safety. Mm -hmm. Good pass in there. Abbott to Mahoney. Oh, oh no, O'Connell. Can't pick it up. Rush here. 
Yep, Mahoney with a check there. Oh, oh my, excellent defense there from Mia Garini. Just a great Don't, effort. You know, they just call the trip there, but I mean, if you have the momentum, you should not be calling it. So yeah. Just saying, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, you know, delayed. Yeah, and that's also like, if you score on the play, even though you get fouled, like, mm -hmm. let the goal count, right? Like, come on. Well, I mean, in hockey, if you score when you're on a delayed penalty, the penalty goes away, right? Yeah, exactly. And they'll let the play continue. Mm -hmm. So I would think that that would make people foul more if they had to rescore the goal, right? I mean, it's incentive to foul. All right. Raiders got the ball here. Mia has a chance to get another one. Mia going to pass, pass it off. Riley McLaughlin. Oh, oh, great save. Excellent save That's there. That's a great save. But Price. Bringing it out. Price making her really pay the price. Here we go. Pew just gets wrecked. Pew gets hit again. Oh, cool. Oh. They can't call that a foul. And oh. she's really oh. touch her. Good check there from Hatfield. Yep, here's Spalding going to pass it to Greeny. Greeny with three goals already on the day, working down the near sideline. 30-yard line. Great field vision there. She saw that she uh, wasn't being pressured, so she held on to it and went with it. Greeny to McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Mags to Luskow. Luskow to Spalding. You know, that's a veteran move, though, when, like, you don't rush with the ball. You realize that you have time. <laughs> you can slow it down. Luskow going to pass it back to McLaughlin. Just waiting, passing it back to Luskow. Back to McLaughlin. Yeah, just can play the stall game all day. I know, right? They have the lead. Around the carousel. Round and round we go. Hatfield mm -hmm. with it behind the net. Luskow. Yeah, Luskow. McLaughlin. Spalding, back to McLaughlin. Working that right side. Just great defense here by Triton. Diaz trying to find a chink in the armor and having a tough time on this possession at least. Mia Greeny coming in. Oh, oh she's going for whistle, that Whistle though, there was a whistle. She's going for that top right side again. Well, she's proving that she can hit it. Yeah. Problem with that, the righty goalie. Look, she's got the stick up top left here. The greeny that one in. And she gets hit in the head, her goggles come off, but she's good. And tack on another five minutes for taking his helmet off. All right, I know. Redo that goal because it's a foul. No, I think it was like add an extra 15 yards for taking the guy's hat <laughs> off. Taking his head off? Yeah. Raiders just, yeah, I mean, I, they are starting to run away with it. You're right. Let's see if Triton can answer back here. Boys are playing tomorrow in Weston. Yeah. What time? Six? Six. We will be there. Folks. Yeah. Taking a little field trip. And we will be live streaming. Fingers crossed that everything goes smooth. Yeah, we'll be using the Wi-Fi. Luskow. With it. Left side DS up 5-1. to one. It's Morrow behind the net. Hatfield. Riper. Garini's just having an excellent game here. 
If Triton wants to come back, they gotta find an answer for her. Luskow coming off. Malloy coming in. Riper behind the net. This is Hatfield. Nita Greeny coming. Oh, oh, falls down. That was, uh, that was a big hit there. Fortunately, you're not allowed to check. So there. Oh, I think she's going to the box. Yep, yeah, Margaret Farrell to the Yellow box. card. Ooh. Cross check. Wow. The senior called for a pretty tough penalty there. Got to wonder if that's a frustration move or just... Who knows? Greeny. And boys lacrosse, that'd be a great play. Oh, no. Another one here. I still don't think you're allowed to cross-check in boys lacrosse. Was it a cross-check? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, I don't think so. Not allowed to in hockey. Yeah, and... Yeah. In like every sport, you're not allowed to cross check. <laughs> Just when you hold your stick out and like level them with the stick. Yeah, you hold it like, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Put the camera on me for one second. I'm going to show them what a cross check is. <laughs> hold the stick like. Tsh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you got to see us. <laughs> All right, Spalding taking the draw against Trojan. DS up six to one. Oh, Trains winning a lot of draws here. Mm -hmm. Gotta give him credit. Oh, she wipes out behind the net. I don't know what happened there. I don't think it was deliberate. Okay, trying with the behind the net. Well defended here from Laurel Mahoney. Huh, what? Hmm. Are they going to say... Uh, uh, infraction on DS. An infraction. An infraction. You like fractions? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. All right, trying with it here. Why use fractions when you can just use decimals? Yes. <laughs> you heard it here f first, folks. <laughs> oh, what? Pizza? Oh, Camp says, because if you're talking about pizza or pie, fractions are key. Yeah, you only have, there's only two instances. I'm going to need more. <laughs> Shots fired, yeah. <laughs> Not every day. Camp says he eats pizza every day. <laughs> For your viewers who are wondering what was happening. But anyways, here we go. Good defense here from the Raiders. Laurel all over her. Silva just trying to get something going. And there's a little foul there. You know, I find it really hard when you're just being like, face guarded the whole time. It can get really stressful and sometimes annoying. Mm. Get you to crack down a bit. Yep. Just, uh, flares the tempers a little bit, perhaps. Starts the fire. That's why it's very important to stay mentally in yep. disciplined. Mentally disciplined. Oh, Laurel picks it up and gets checked from uh, Trojan and great defense there from the Raiders. Yeah, now, here comes Spalding. Yep, the other way now. Ava Hatfield with it. To Malloy. Yeah, you know, the freshman's been getting a lot of time in. Greeny. Ooh. Trying to get to Spalding, but picked up by the keeper. And. The coach definitely is not regretting having the freshman in either because she's been great and she's getting the experience. Freshman. 
How did they even come up with all of the, uh, you know, terms? I get freshman, I sophomore. I get senior, too. Huh. And then I, know. I also get junior. I, Where'd you I get sophomore I feel from? like I used to know. I don't know. It might be, like, term in a different language or something. I don't know. Cam, do you know? Look it up. Consult Google. <laughs> You're going to consult it? Yes, I will consult Google. All right. Garini with it on the top here. Passes to Raper. Raper to Hatfield to Morrow. Morrow to Garini, who's had an outstanding game. Great pass here to Hatfield, and it deflected off the goalie stick and bounces in the net for another goal. Raiders 7. Triton Vikings won. Okay, so freshman is uh, the term is a compound of fresh meaning inexperienced and man. Sophomore it comes from the Greek word sophos. Yes. Meaning clever or wise. Mm. And senior, that's Latin. What about junior? And then so moros means oh, so foolish. So a soft, sophomore is a wise fool. A wise fool. Love oh it. my. <laughs> Get a wipe out there. Heard it here first, folks. You're a wise fool. Thank you for the, uh, the lesson there, Sebastian. <laughs> what are you calling eighth grader? <laughs> Underclass. Underclassman. You are, you are below the wise fool. How does that make you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be a fresh man yeah, than a they... wise fool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can skip that grade. A wise fool. 6.25 left to go in this first half. Triton trying to square up the score here. DS defense making it awfully difficult. Yeah. Mahoney picks it up. Yeah. Good save there from Mahoney. Yeah. Yeah, great goalie IQ there to step up in that position. Mahoney to a relative. Other Mahoney. <laughs> and O'Connell with it. O'Connell wow. bringing it up. Splits the D there. Yeah, going right down Main Street. Wow, good couple of fakes there from Mags. Mags with it. To Greeny. 544 left here in the first half. DS up 7 to 1. Spalding to Malloy to Hatfield. Hatfield right down the middle. Mags, Mags ooh, oh, falls okay. down but draws the foul. 518 left in the first. Yeah, dangerous foul to take right there. Yeah, about 10 yards out. Yeah, Mags is going to be right in the goalie's face here. Yep. Let's see if Julia Price can save this one. Mags going right down wow. and then puts it in the bottom left-hand corner. Mags, is, we've seen her in this situation before. She leaves the goalie slim to no chance on those up-close shots because she's yep. so good at deking, like, deking out the goalie. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That? That's the person with the ball. You do dictate where it goes. Yes, you do. You are the leader, and the goalie must follow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and speed is speed's tough. Some people just come in with that speed, and you just seem like they're just untouchable. Anyways, 5-14, 8-1 now. Raiders yeah. are definitely running away with it here in this first half at least. We're going to see what Triton can do mm -hmm. to respond. Mag's going to get that one. Get She's Mag. going down speed. It's a 4 on uh, 6 for the Raiders. Mag's going to get speedy. it behind the net. Ava Hatfield you to know, Malloy. This team is just very fast. 
Yeah, Spalding. Great Gar fundamentals. Garini. And just well coached. Here's Mags. Spalding, shot, bounced oh. in the goal. 9-1 Raiders. Uh. Making it, putting, putting on a clinic here. Yeah, they sure are. The Vikings have seen better first halves. Yeah. And timeout called by Triton. Uh huh. You know, I think that was a smart pretty, timeout. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good one to take. Let's see here. Four forty-two left here in the first. See if you can calm the girls down and you know. kind of let them. So close. Let them slow down the game a bit and get some goals. What is, now we have to figure out what junior means. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Gesundheit. Person in the fans. I mean, person in the stands. One of the fans. This is a great turnout. You gotta wonder who's here. Yeah. Listening to us right now because it seems like everyone's here. See a couple people down there. I saw Murph earlier. Oh, you saw Murph. I see. Uh, I see Shrodes. I see Mrs. Rinaldi. Mrs. Rinaldi. Mm. What do we got here? Wow, a lot of viewers here. It's a good turnout. Good turnout. Hi, viewers. Yep, all the fans at home. Feel free to reach out on our Instagram page, DS Cable TV, for any any comments or whatever. Four forty two on the clock. Nine to one. Yeah, so like we discussed, the winner will play Sandwich. Uh, could be either. Oh, look at um, him. He's styling with us. Rocking the shades. <laughs> Where are yours, Brad? Yeah. He's got them on. Oh, I got them. Um, yeah, you got to be careful about the Sandwich Police down there. Sandwich Police? Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> I like those glasses. Right? They're pretty sweet. Yeah, better than mine. Right. I want to get prescription sunglasses. Oh, you should. If anyone has yeah, but any... Then, uh, I but then I have... To, if I don't get them, I have to switch between my glasses and then my sunglasses. Contact. If any of you viewers have any suggestions for yeah. Sebastian's glasses, LASIK. Should I get feel LASIK? free to DS Cable TV. <laughs> DS Cable TV. Sure, he would love to know. Cable what DS you think. TV. <laughs> TV Cable DS. Don't confuse them. No. DS, DS Cable, Cable TV. DS C A B L E TV. All the kids. Follow us. We'll follow you back. It's a good deal. Right. Okay, your Raiders are on the field. Looks like O'Connell, Abbott, Mahoney, Mahoney. Mahoney, all three Mahoney's are on the field. Morrow, McLaughlin, Riper, Spalding, Divine, Garini, and Hatfield. 442, Mag's gonna take the draw against Catherine Trojan. Giving Spalding a little break. Spalding is just outside the face-off circle. Same with McLaughlin. Let's see how Mags does in here. Oh, false start. It's going to be DS ball. Oh, she jumped the gun. Yep. Mags with it, midfield. Goes and passes it to Morrow. Sadie Morrow, near side. Mia Greeny. These passes are just so crisp. Divine behind the net to Hatfield. Hatfield 
and pass it to Mags, who passes it to McLaughlin, who's back to Garini, near side. Garini, nice move there. Trying to get it back in the middle, good defense there from Tro Trojan, Spalding with it. It's a little fake there, but. Brings it back out. Yep. Mags, working array, top of the circle. Sadie Morrow, gonna turn it back out to me, a left side. Yeah, good defense here from Triton. They definitely tightened up a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at that. Divine with the chance there, passing it up. Foul. And Garini, I think, is going to get it. Yep, Garini going to get it on the 10-yard ten ten yard line, yeah. Let's see what she does here. 10-yard line. Looks like McLaughlin is in position here to catch a pass or Spalding or Riper. She hesitates, finds Riper. Mags. The defense quickly closed in on her. Just Excellent. under 330. Yeah, excellent play there from uh, the defense of Triton. Yep, Carini passing off to Ava Hatfield. If it goes behind the net to Mags Re Riper. Greeny. Ava. Oh, Good goal there yeah. from Ava Hatfield. Tic tac toe. Excellent pass in there from the girls. And go up another goal. 10 to 1 here. Yeah, Diaz hitting double digits. And as we know, once you get a 10 point lead, I mean, they're at 9 right now. But Wrong the clock. Yes, the clock runs. Sadie Morrow. Taking a break. Well yep. deserved. Going to the bench. Yeah, there. Malloy back in the game. Freshman. Yeah, well deserved for certain. Mags is going to take the draw. And Triton wins that one. Picked yeah. up by number 12. Number 12, Connors. Yeah, Connors. Yeah. Great defense here from McLaughlin. Back to Trojan. Trojan, far side, 239 left. Coming oh. oh, loses the ball. Great defense Picked up there. by Kai Abbott, Kai Abbott. Oh. Yep, O'Connell got a little physical and Trojan's glasses came off. Yeah, the goggles. The gogs. Like, you know, that that's when I feel like you need to stop it. Because, you know, safety hazard. Yeah. O'Connell. Going down. Good speed there. Nice pass yeah. to Mags. To Mags Riper. To Hatfield. Hatfield. Yep. Uh, his team is just so speedy. Far side. Now Kelly Devine behind the net. Working her way. Passes it to Garini. Greeny working her way up the middle to McLaughlin. Mags Riper with it now. Mags trying to go in the middle. Pass it off. Riley Spaulding with a wow. shot and the goal. Just excellent play there. Riley Spaulding netting it, making it a 10 goal lead for the Raiders. Great pass there from Mags. And just excellent finish from Spaulding. 141 left in this first half. Now get that clock running. Yeah. This is a 10 goal differential here. And they're running the clock now. This music to our ears, right? No, it makes our job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Don't have to complain about the clock anymore. <laughs> ah. Oh, shout out to Paige, saying it's a draw, not a face-off. Yeah, thank you, Paige. Yeah. Thank you. Here comes Connors. Oh, it's a good save there from Mahoney. Malloy trying to pick it up, picks it up. 
She's got three Triton defenders on her and passing it off to Mahoney. Great work there from the freshman. Yeah. And good job from the goalie there, recognizing that uh, she needed a hand, so she came up and got it. McLaughlin. Passing it to Ava Hatfield. Hatfield, far side, behind the net. Divine. Divine, 38 seconds left here in the first half. Near side, gives it to Malloy. Malloy to Hatfield. Back to Mags. Under 30. Mags. Stalling for time, letting Diaz set up a play. Malloy coming around the top screen. Shot. Oh, deflected. Mags gets the rebound, though. Yeah, nice block there from, uh, I want to say, number eight. Yeah, seven seconds Cute. left here. Devine's got to put up something. Five, four. Garini with it. Three, two. Garini's got rope one, and she oh, nets one as time one. expires. Good goal from Garini there as time expires. Push this Raider lead to 11 goals at the end of 25 minutes. DS 12 and Triton 1 will be back for second half action in a bit. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Welcome back, everyone, to second half action between your Dover Sherburn Raiders and the Triton Vikings. Vikings. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot who they were. That's okay. I thought it was some sort of alliteration. <laughs> you know, so. Viking Raider. It wouldn't have All oh, similar things. Anyways, yeah, welcome back to the second half here. Score is Raiders 11 to Triton 1. Huh? Yeah, apparently the last goal by Mia Greeny got taken off. Mm-hmm. Wasn't quite a buzzer beater. Well, technically it was. By the way, we have a shout out here yeah. to uh, two lo lov yes. yeah, lovely grandparents in Nantucket. Yeah, welcome. Welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in. Yeah, we actually asked um, who's, whose grandparents you were in uh they that was, said that uh, was confidential. Yeah, they said it was confidential. Yeah, so. only only me and the government now. <laughs> exactly. Uh, don't so. worry. <laughs> don't worry about that. But they know who they are. They, yeah. you guys know who you are. <laughs> and Paige watching too, which yeah. I mean, we're getting ready to take this draw. Yeah. Starting in the, the second draw. half. Draw. I feel like people say draw more than face off in hockey. Yeah, they say anyway. that too, yeah. Not wrong. DS going from left to right here. Mag's going to take this face off. I mean, draw. <laughs> this yeah. draw. Down, yeah. Good, good, uh, good catch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, picked up. Finally by, oh, loose ball. Oh. Infraction on DS and Triton will have the ball. That'd be number 12. Yeah, face off sounds like that movie with John Travolta. Yeah, also sounds. And Nicolas Cage. Never seen that movie. Is it good? 90s movie? Solid. I kind of forget I forget it, so. Um, Might have been rated R. <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> so you probably can't watch it if, even Might've. if you want to. No, I've, seen, I've seen two <laughs> rated R movies. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, good check there from the Raiders. Oh, Mahoney was getting pushed there a bit. No call, though. 
You know, you take that for granted. You get old enough to watch R-rated movies, you know. That's Here's a Triton. Thing. Trojan behind the net. Right in front of that, oh, and there's a goal. Oh, great Good pass. Goal. Good goal. Great goal. Trojan finding Connors. Yeah, just right in front of the net. And you know what? This is what Triton needed here. They needed yeah. to uh, turn Early it momentum. Around. Early yes. momentum. Yeah, and they stopped the clock. Wow. Nine goal lead now for the Raiders. Yes, that, so that goal was extra huge here. Mm -hmm. Keeping the game in a standstill. Now back to the draw here. Yeah. On the huge DS in the middle of the field. Mag's gonna take this again for the Raiders. Up. Spalding no, drops it and no. picked up by Triton. Yep, here we go. Number five on Triton. Harrington. Harrington. Kayla Harrington with it. Defended by Mahoney right here. Passes it off to 12 Connors. 12, yes. Pass it off to number one, Nagle. Nangle. Nagle. Nangle. Nangle. Oh, loose ball. Oh. Picked up by Luskow. Oh. Great turn over there. And look, she got hit in the mask a little bit. Yellow, yellow card. Yellow card. That's a yellow card. So I get my soccer accent going. Who's that on? Um, I want to say, oh. yep, her, number eight. Yeah. Alice Pugh. Second yellow card today. Mm-hmm. We don't see that many of those. No. Spalding. Been forced down the sideline. Yeah, excellent. She has room to work with. Going to pass it to Mags. Working down that line still. Raiders trying to get this clock running again. Behind the net to Sadie Morrow. Morrow to Greeny. Greeny right in front of the what net. What a pass. Oh, oh, a bit too high there for Hatfield, but Hatfield recovers it and goes behind the net. Back to Morrow. Morrow to Lusko to McLaughlin. Give it to Spalding. Spalding. Hatfield. Yep, over to Hatfield. Hatfield behind the net. Good pass. Spalding here. coming in. Oh, no. Yeah. Luskow coming in. Luskow. Oh, trying to get to Greeny in the middle. Greeny picks it up, but, ooh, foul on DS. Huh. That was an interesting call. Uh, Greeny would disagree. Yeah. But. It's sure. what it is. Yep, I'm sure Triton fans totally agree. 22-19 left to go in this game. Or, oh, oh, good read there by Riley McLaughlin trying to step up there, cause a loose ball. Oh, that was a trip, I think, off on Riley. Yeah. Did see Trojan hit the floor. Mm -hmm. It's like in basketball. As long as if someone hits the floor, you're going to have to call something. Yeah. Oh, loses the ball. Yeah, that's going to go against Trojan. All right, Ava passing it up to Spalding. Spalding yeah. on the 30, the 20. Riley going down. behind 10. the net. 12, 21, 43 left here in the half. Plenty of time still. Let's go. This goal is going to be McLaughlin huge. shot oh. and the goal. Wow. DS. Oh, no, 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 no. There was a whistle. Oh. There was a whistle. Oh. So here we Boy, go. Boy, do we love that rule. All right. Hey, I mean. Well, McLaughlin will get another chance. Yes. Number 25, McLaughlin. Oh, they're still running the clock. Oh, my. Hey, we're not complaining. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Excellent play there. Top right-hand corner for McLaughlin. Yeah, tough, tough, uh, tough uh, job to be a goalie on that one. Extending the lead to nine, or to ten. Uh, yes. 11 to 2. Nope, 12 to 2. Oh, psh. that's what I said. Now they're running. <laughs> now the clock's running. Yeah, there you go. 12 to there 2. There we go. Mags about to take the draw here again against Trojan. Twenty-one minutes running now. 
Triton needs a goal to stop the running clock. Mags going up. Oh, Ooh. falls down. But somehow miraculously <laughs> picks it up. <laughs> and has the ball in her hand. Yeah. DS coming all out. Mags tomorrow behind the net. Going to give it to Hatfield. Hatfield working her way up to McLaughlin, top of the key. To Greeny. And Morrow coming in on the far side. Sadie draws a call. Yeah. That will be another penalty. Far side coming in about five, ten yards out. Kayla Erickson on the call there. Morrow waiting for the whistle. He's going to pass it off behind the net to Hatfield. Hatfield to Mags to Luskow. Triton closed in on her real quick. She yeah. wasn't able to get a shot off. Foul called on Triton, though. But hey, here it comes. Luskow. Let's see. Julia. Ready. Yeah, Julia Price, the goalie. She's not going to. Yeah. Luskow uh, going to bring it back out to McLaughlin. 9.48 left. I never understand that. Like, why don't keep the you clock running. shoot? Ensure yourself yeah, but, that you're going to keep possession. The clock's going to be running anyway because it's a 10 goal lead. Yeah, but you're also going to ensure that you have possession. Yeah, but a good shot on that is a good shot on that. Yeah, true. Hey, agree to disagree. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, Greeny wanted to shoot, but fakes it with it, top of the key. Going to pass it to Hatfield behind the net, wide open. Hatfield working her way around. Going in to Greeny, top of the key. Greeny. Oh, a little cross check yeah, there cross from Trojan. Check. Yeah, McLaughlin. Gonna pass it to Luskow. Yeah, Meredith Salvin appears to have like a tape on her nose mm -hmm. on the sideline. Hopefully hope she's okay. Yeah, hopefully she's okay. Mags. If I was to guess, Greeny. I would think it would be a ball to the nose. You see, this is why stick. this is why they don't shoot because they've chewed off a lot more minutes. Yeah, but I mean, look, if it's running time anyway, it doesn't True. matter if you score or not. They're still running, though. Yeah, just keep running, running. See, they're going to pass it. Riley Spaulding with wow. the shot and the goal. This is a generous play there. Great pass by yeah. Garini. Spaulding ends up with another goal. 13-2. Mm -hmm. 18 Malloy minutes. and Rooney entering the game, coming in for Spaulding. On the clock. And Morrow. And Caroline Harvey coming in for Avery oh, O'Connell. Yeah. All right. Mags and Trojan back on the draw. Oh, uh, the fight for possession here. Ref blows the whistle. Yeah, says, the Triton ball. Connors, yeah. wait, hesitating. All right. Good. Yeah. Using, wasting no time. Yeah, rough defense there. A lot oh. of pressure. Oh. Oh, another card. Whoa. Another yellow card. Ooh. On sportsmanlike conduct she called on Connors. a cross college. check after the ball was already out of oh. the hands. Wow, that's uh, on Chloe sportsman Connors like conduct, taking yeah. a rough penalty there. You know, any, every penalty when you're behind is not a good one to take. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy to be frustrated about this. You know, you're in the uh, the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. You know. Winner Lose. punches their ticket to the final four and gets a nice banner. Uh-huh. Hopefully some free swag too. Maybe yeah. a t-shirt. I don't know. Section champs. <laughs> if yeah, if. if they're lucky. Uh good passing here. The Raiders. Rooney. Sixteen minutes left running time, folks. 
Unless Triton can get some goals. Courtney Mahoney getting a standing ovation. He's yep. been playing outstanding defense. Great D. All year long. Yeah. McLaughlin, oh, oh gets hit in the face. And that's Trojan. That's going to be a card, too. Yikes. Oh, wow. Is that a. Three yellow? people in the box. I saw the red card out there, too, but she just no. used the yellow. Three people in the box. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, what happens in that? Like, I know in hockey it goes to a five on three. Yeah. Fan saying not classy at not all. Not classy at all. Yeah. Not classy, not classy at all. Huh? <laughs> Principal's got the eagle eye over there. Yeah. Give him the stink eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. yeah. All right, McLaughlin getting a chance here. You know, they're students. You can't control them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're kids. What are you going to do? Stop it. Stop it. Now he's looking at you. <laughs> he's looking at me. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. I did. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he knew exactly. Uh, he knew who the perpetrator was. Well, uh, now I'm scared. All McLaughlin. right, McLaughlin passes it off to Hatfield here. Yeah, Hatfield. Back to Riper. Great pass. Oh, Garini. <laughs> Went for the pass. Probably could have scored another one, but generous. Hatfield with it now. Malloy. Top of the key, here's Garini. Oh, good Luska. pass there. Oh, that's that's a beautiful cut there by Ella Luskow. Absolutely beautiful play. She found the seam. Garini passed it right to her. Straight shot. It was uh, a beautiful goal. So money. Great offense there from the Raiders. Absolutely. Just impressive play. Good recognition from Luskow and Garini. Coordination. It's already 7 o'clock. Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. 14 minutes. Yankee started five minutes ago. Oh, gosh. Don't you dare, Sebastian. Oh, we could do this all day. <laughs> huh? Oh, Red Sox. Uh, Timeout oh, yeah. taken by the Raiders. Yeah. You know, Yankees are playing against the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Nobody cares. I care. <laughs> the only one. I care. The only one. Only... New York fan in this vicinity here. 14 minutes on the clock now. They stopped the time. Fortunately. So, yeah, that's the problem about taking penalties, you know. It does hurt your team. And I think each penalty really ended up having a goal scored against them. How about this? The... 2022 Yankees oh my. are on pace. Folks, please help me. For 118 <laughs> wins. And they won't get it. Okay, they're on pace. On pace. <laughs> 14 minutes. The Red Sox are on pace for a comeback championship. All right. No, the hat, that already happened in 04. You, ain't, you guys ain't getting that again. <laughs> we were generous back in 04. No, we're talking about A-Rod 04. No. All right, so each set of coaches having some words with their teams here. You know, even if Triton cannot come back in this game, they should still be happy. Um, it's a learning experience here, as we've said before. And uh, they see what the Raiders can do, you know. This Raiders team is very special. Like I said before, they're very fast, have great fundamentals, are very well coached. I mean, fundamentals are key. They really are. In a team sport. Erin Massimi doing a great job. She's the head coach of this uh, Raiders team. Assistant coach is doing wonderful as well. That's Megan Newmarker and Megan Lewis. 
really, really coaching well. And, you know, also you just, as a high school coach, you just, I mean, you kind of don't know which players you're going to get each year, you know. Like, players grow so much year to year, and it's pretty impressive. It's pretty rare, too, to have such a great, like, freshman and, you know, develop. You keep them in the program. And that's the thing, too. You never know if they want to go play baseball or softball with their friends, you know. Mm -hmm. So you really never know what you're going to get on a year-to-year -year basis. Plus injuries and whatnot, moving schools. All that jazz. As we've seen also. And just high school in general. Yeah, you know, grades. Student exactly. athletes. Exactly, getting pulled out for grades or yeah. whatever have you. You know what, too, like, especially you see this, uh, like, a decent amount, like, where an uh, outstanding player, their parents yank them and bring them to private school. And then mm -hmm. and the coach and everyone loses that talent. Greeny with it. Yes, Greeny taking her time here past the Luxco. Luxco going to give it to Mags. Mags, excellent pass. Oh, right to oh, Rooney. Yeah, Rooney almost on the doorstep there. Hatfield picking it up. Passes the Riper. Reaper. <laughs> Reaper, Riper, Raper. Or Mags. Mags, that's what they call her. Feel free to uh, correct us on how to say that on our Instagram. Riper. Oh, great pass, Malloy. Oh, oh just high. A bit too far north on the mm -hmm. shot. That was still a great shot, though. It was. Good velocity. Stop thinking about the Yankees. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but, you know, Giancarlo Stanton hit a... 120 mile an hour exit velo, fastest this season. Wow, how far did it go? We're talking about exit velo, not. Yeah, but did it go out of the park? Yeah, it was it was a home run. How far did it go? I think like 396. Oh, that's not that impressive. <laughs> Three ninety six is where the green monster is, I think. It's short. Yeah, you know how they always complain about the short porch in Yankee Stadium? Yeah. Fenway Park is shorter. It's yeah. 302 feet. At Pesky's Pole. Yeah. 302 feet. Hey, both teams can hit it there. You know, that's exactly what I say about Yankee Stadium. Uh-huh. I guess that's where the coach should have you practice hitting it there the day before. I mean, the yep. in preparation. Mahoney coming oh. out and Lily Hatfield, the freshman, coming in yeah. for the Raiders. Laurel having an excellent game and season as well. Yep. Very impressive. And a well-deserved standing out. McLaughlin with it now. Going to give it to Rooney. Rooney. Rooney going in. Shot and the goal. Addy Rooney. What? There's a oh. whistle. And here's that rule that we love so much. Yeah, we love this rule. We love it. So now Rooney has to try it again here. Uh, let's see. I hope she shoots it. We'll see, though. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's go. See, that rule took her goal away. So now she has to try to get another one here. To Hatfield. Look at this. The goalie playing way out of her safe spot. Mm -hmm. Garini hesitating on that. The home away from home. Yep. The home away from home with your best friends. The post. Left, right, and cross. Malloy to Mags. Just good passing. You know, the girls basically just milking out the clock here. Mm -hmm. 10.30, 4 to go. Running, McLaughlin. Oh, good save yeah, there. Good save. That thing was bouncing dangerously on the doorstep there. Oh, wow. 
Julia Price heaving it out. Oh, good defense there from Malloy. And look at this, good turnover. Oh. Trying to find Mags right in front of the net. Oh, good save there from. That was a good tip out in front. Standing O there from Luxco. Who, yeah. Who walks off the field. Mag, Mags picks it up. Yeah, good effort there from Mags to half field. Oh, oh my, someone loses their stick. stick. <laughs> threw the stick. Oh, she, <laughs> she threw. <laughs> threw the stick she and the ball into the net. No, that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Right, if you threw it like a spear, like into yeah. the net, and it goes in. I mean, how do you lose your stick? Oh, oh. oh. wow, just a great pass. And yeah. McLaughlin somehow gets possession of it again. Yeah, she dropped it. Good pass here. Yeah, oh, Ava! Great pass from Riper. Yeah, Ava Hatfield that in one there, nine minutes. Yeah, look, more subs coming in. Chloe Pan and Devine coming Kelly in. Kelly Devine. For Ava. Avery. Garini, Spalman. McLaughlin. Yeah. They get the standing O as well. They've had an outstanding game and all outstanding seasons. They're going to the next round. Yeah. With They're a gonna, date with Sandwich. Yes. They're going to battle it out with Sandwich. Sandwich ranked number two. You know. It's not going to be an easy task for the Raiders, but, you know, they won it all last year. You know, last time I went against Sandwich, I destroyed it. But that's a oh. completely different kind of sandwich. That was a sandwich. <laughs> 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 exactly. Provolone. <laughs> I was allowed to tell you. No. I think it was a steak and cheese. Chloe Pan getting it. Nice pick up mm -hmm. there, passing it up. Oh. oh, just off. Was Devon on the catch? And this is Triton Ball here. You know, if I'm Triton, I'm just going to try and get your fundamentals down. Yeah, you know, the fundies are just so important Yeah. in every game. Wow, Divine with some good forechecking here. Yeah. And Julia just heaving it out. Yeah. Oh. Aliyah El Halali, that one. El Halali. Yeah, where were you uh, last game? Yeah, you texted me, actually. Yeah. Like that was El Halali. I saw it after the game, unfortunately. All right, good pressure here. Oh, and look, now Triton is going to have a massive substitution. Seems like they're playing their entire bench. Six forty to go here, folks. Fifteen to two. Raiders just the demanding lead here. Oh, Morrow. Oh. A little horseshoe style goal there. And once again, uh, the goalie here. Uh Mahoney comes out and says hi to her defenders. That's like their ritual. Good day. Hey, good day. Good day, mate. Good day. How's the weather? How's the weather? Weather in Sydney. Six minutes now, running clock. Here, yeah, folks. All the starters back in for Triton to finish off this season. You know, they, they made it to the quarterfinals. It's... Impressive, you know, they should not be upset. Anyways, also I would like to say shout out to the tennis teams who, yeah. who have just been rocking and rolling here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the boys are going to be up against Medford. Medford. And the girls are going to be playing Newburyport. Newburyport, oh. 
We know that town up all in, too well. Up in North Reading. North Reading. I don't know the day. Do you remember mm. the day? No. So sorry about that, folks. Yeah. Talk to Emily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do a little research. I, yeah, yeah. I get back to me I tomorrow. Yeah. Get back to us tomorrow. I can give you a little more information, but you got to do a little more. Boys versus Medford's at 3. Mm -hmm. The girls' game is going to be at 5.30. Yeah, tomorrow we are going on the road, calling the boys against West Weston. Weston, yes. And you know what's funny about Weston? We play hockey with them. Yes, exactly. You know a couple of kids on the we team? Share, we share a hockey team with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious. I can't wait to find out. We got some hockey boys on our lacrosse team as well. Such as? Yep, I know Neat and Garzon. Might be another one. Gotta dig up that hockey roster. Triton, still some life left here. Let's see. Great defense there from Spalding. Getting back in Malloy, who's just staying on. And a bit of a foul there. It's against O'Connell, I believe. So um, the Triton shirts say States 2022. 20, yeah. Their shirts say that clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. And you know what? Like you well, can lose. for a rude awakening. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. I was going to say, I was going to try to be a little nicer. And it's like, you know what? Even if you lose this game. Do they have clear eyes? You know, Do you guys have yeah, a full yeah. heart? That's a win. That's a yeah. win. You're all winners in our <laughs> hearts. Exactly. You don't need your name on a trophy to be a winner. <laughs> hey, you can't, yeah, exactly. You can't lose if you don't care, right? <laughs> 20 40 left to go in this game. You mean 240? That's what I said. You said no, 20 I, know, I messed up. Yanking your chain. Man. 230, okay? <laughs> I can't lose because I don't care that I messed up. So, anyways. Yeah, Raiders, 16. Don't care, can't lose. Vikings, too. Yeah, I love that motto. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Is that your mantra? It's my, <laughs> it's my motto. Don't care, can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> can't care, can't lose. Uh, uh, yeah, you got to tune, tune it in a bit. Make the alliteration happen. Can't lose if you don't care. Oh, nice little fancy pass there to uh, Trojan. Look at this. Spalding just hasn't given up at all. Yeah. And Good face guard You there. know, she's just, she plays with that intensity. We love that intensity. We absolutely love it. You're right. They're going to need it in the playoffs, especially yeah. against Sandwich. Look, it's like you have this lead and you're still playing that intense. Like, mm -hmm. geez, like, I don't, I don't even think you can teach that. That's just got to be. It's just got to be in you. Mm -hmm. In your adrenaline. Yep, that good, that good aggression tribute, um, a tribute in sports and whatever. Oh, look at Trojan here. Oh, oh good save there excellent. from Mahoney. Excellent save. Mahoney's going to bring it out. Oh, just over the head of Malloy, yep. but picked up by... Let's get cross check. Yep, pushed out of bounds. I thought I heard a whistle. Yeah, no, it was a cross check. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Catherine Mahoney has just really stepped up to the plate here and, you know, looking like a champion goalie. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Making huge saves. Just game in and game out. Mm hmm. Final seconds taken away here. Yeah. 
Final 22 seconds on the clock yeah. running. Malloy. And, you know, it's just been an excellent game here for the mm -hmm. Raiders. And got a date with Sandwich now. Yeah, exactly. They just got to keep that momentum up. And, uh, yeah. And your Raiders. Moving on to the final four. Congratulations, Raiders. 2022. They're going to the final four. Yep, the semis. Final four, yeah. Well, what do you what do you have to say here, Sebastian? Oh, uh, you know, it was a great team win. It really was. Yeah, they played all four quarters. Yep, they didn't quit at all. Yep, never back down, never give up. Yeah, two halves. Um. Uh, anyways, thank you, folks, for watching. Uh, final score, Raiders 16, Triton Vikings 2. Yeah. Till next time. Bye, folks. Yeah, bye. At this time, would the head coach and captains from Dover Sherman High School please step forward to receive the 2022 MIAA Girls Lacrosse Division 4 Final Four Award?